these are the mass intentions diocese of nalgonda wangamatti parish this mass is offered for divya bani tv corpus fund donor late thanam rai pradi on his death anniversary may his soul rest in peace and for the departed soul of teklamma by sri thanam alexander reddy sushila late dr stanislas reddy vijay rani professor janardan reddy dr shauri lamma and other family members today's rosary divine mercy chaplet word of god holy hour also offered for this family and their intentions in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen the grace and peace of our lord jesus christ and the love of god and communion of the holy spirit be with you all and with your spirit dear brothers and sisters in today's gospel jesus tells us that everything is possible only through faith we say always as christians called by god that we have faith but when things are upside down when things are not going according to our planning we always doubt we always doubt the grace of god in our life and that is the reason and we need to pray as the father of the boy was possessed prayed lord i believe help my unbelief let our pr- prayer always be lord i believe as called by you but in times of trials and temptations and difficulties and illness help my unbelief today we are also celebrating the priestly ordination anniversary of our eminence cardinal pula antony let us ask the lord in this holy mass to bless him abundantly and also bishop udumula bala the bishop of warangal is celebrating his priestly ordination and i am also celebrating my priestly ordination today i ask you to pray for us as we going to celebrate the mystery of god's love let us recall to mind our sins and ask for god's pardon and peace i confess to almighty god and I to you my brothers and sisters, sisters that have greatly sinned sins, in my thoughts in my words in what i have done and what i have failed to do through my fault through my fault through my most grievous fault therefore i ask blessed mary a virgin all the angels and saints and you my brothers and sisters to pray for me to the lord of god May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. O God who teaches that you abide in hearts that are just and true grant that we may be so fashioned by your grace as to become a dwelling pleasing to you through our lord jesus christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit one god forever and ever amen wisdom was created before all things first reading a reading from the book of sirach chapter 1 
verses 1 to 10. All wisdom comes from the Lord and with, is with him forever. The sand of the sea, the drops of rain, and the days of eternity, who will count them? The height of heaven, the breadth of the earth, the abyss and wisdom, who will search them out? Wisdom was created before all things and prudent understanding from eternity. The source of wisdom is God's word in the highest heaven and her ways are eternal commandments. The root of wisdom, to whom has it been revealed? Her great deeds, who knows them? The knowledge of wisdom, to whom was it manifested? and her abundant experience. Who has understood it? There is one who is wise, greatly to be feared, sitting upon his throne. The Lord himself created wisdom. He saw her and apportioned her. He poured out her out upon all his works, with all flesh according to his gift. And he supplied her to those who persisted in loving him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Your responsorial psalm. The Lord is king. The Lord is king. With majesty enrobed. With majesty enrobed. The Lord is king with majesty enrobed. The Lord has robed himself with might. He has girded himself with power. Your response. The Lord is king. The Lord is king with majesty enrobed. With the majesty enrobed. The world you made firm not to be moved. Your throne has stood firm from of old. From all eternity, O Lord, you are. Your response The Lord is king. The Lord is king with majesty enrobed. With the majesty enrobed. The Lord is king with majesty enrobed. Truly, your decrees are to be trusted. Holiness is fitting to your house, O Lord, until the end of time. Your response, the Lord is king. The Lord is king. With majesty enrobed. With the majesty enrobed. Gospel according to Saint Mark. Glory to you, o Lord. Gospel according to Saint Mark, chapter nine, verses from fourteen to twenty-nine. At that time, when Jesus came down from the mountain with Peter, James, and John, they came to the disciples. They saw a great crowd around them and scribes arguing with them and immediately all the crowd when they saw him were greatly amazed and ran up to him and greeted him and he asked them what are you arguing with them and someone from the crowd answered him teacher I brought my son to you for he has a spirit that makes him mute and whenever it seizes him it throws him down and he foams and grinds his teeth and becomes rigid 
And I asked your disciples to cast it out, and they were not able. And he answered them, O faithless generation, how long am I to be with you? How long am I to bear with you? Bring him to me. And they brought the boy to him. And when the spirit saw him immediately, it convulsed the boy, and he fell on the ground and rolled about, foaming at the mouth. And Jesus asked his father, How long has this been happening to him? And he said, From childhood. And it has so often cast him into fire and into water to destroy him. And if you can do anything, have compassion on us and help us. And Jesus said to him, If you can, all things are possible for one who believes. Immediately the father of the child cried out and said, I believe, help my unbelief. And when Jesus saw the crowd came running together, he rebuked the unclean spirit, saying to it, You mute and deaf spirit, I command you, come out of him and never enter him again. And after crying out and convulsing him terribly, it came out and the boy was like a corpse. And the most of them said, He is dead. But Jesus took him by the hand and lifted him up, and he rose, and he had entered the house. His disciples asked him privately, Why could we not cast it out? He said to them, This kind, of, this kind cannot be driven out by anything but by prayer. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters, please repeat after me. This is my Bible. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do. I can do what it says I can do. Today, Today, I will be taught. I will be taught the word of God. The word of God. I boldly confess. I boldly confess. My mind is alert. My mind is alert. My heart is receptive. My heart is receptive. I will never be the same. I will never be the same. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Dear brothers and sisters, in today's gospel, we see Jesus driving away the demon. Once an angry wife says to his husband, I should have married the devil that would have made a better husband than you. It was an insult for him. And I uh, husband replies you would have been arrested and you would have been behind the bars then wife asks why what is the reason he says marriage between marriage between the blood relations is not allowed in today's gospel a boy who was possessed was brought to the disciples and when this boy who was possessed was brought to the disciples in the absence of Jesus, Jesus was not with the apostles. But they knew that they got the authority from Jesus to drive away the demons. They are confident. They are confident of driving away the demon even in the absence of Jesus. Because they have, give, they have been given power. That is, what, that is what the Bible says. The Gospel according to St. Mark chapter 6 verse 7 says, Jesus called 12 and began to send them out two by two and the authority was given to them 
on unclean spirit it very clearly says authority has been given to them on unclean spirit and same thing we also see in the same gospel chapter 3 verse 14 he gave them authority to drive away the demons they knew that they had authority they are aware of their authority and they are confident also because even in the past with the authority which was given to them they drove away the demons but what was shocking what was surprising what was interesting is in today's gospel they failed to drive away this particular demon from the boy why they failed their experience tells them that they have the power but here in this particular incident they failed to drive away the demon and adding to that the people around them started making fun of them insulting them arguing them and the jesus comes from the mount and he rebukes them you faithless generations how long should i be with you how little is your faith how little is your faith and many times we also in our life when we don't experience the miracles we have to say that our faith is very little it so happened one day one retreat preacher when i met him i asked him father is it possible to heal everyone and what is your experience in your healing service then he explained to me father it so happened one day one boy and his father came to me arguing we came for the retreat in the beginning itself everybody is getting healed everybody is experiencing miracles why not me and my son why this partiality in this healing service then i told him the father was telling me that he told him that it is not the father who does the miracles but it is jesus your experience your miracles depend upon your connection with jesus how much you are connected with him your miracles depends upon your relationship with your jesus when you accept him as lord and savior miracles you not only see rarely but you see every minute of your life every day of your life you will experience the miracle provided you have a good relationship with the lord your miracles depends upon your connection with the lord the miracle is in the mouth says joel austin because his own mother was suffering from terminal cancer and doctors gave upon her and they told she is not going to live longer but she was very devoted lady very pious lady one prayer is always on her lips the prayer is my lord i am not weak i am strong in reality she was weak but her prayer was lord i am not weak i am strong and she says in the name of jesus in the name of jesus i am not ill i am healthy <coughs> but in reality she was unhealthy as bible says say you are strong when you are weak say you are strong when you are weak then miraculously even after 30 years after getting this disease even after 30 years mother of joel austin is still alive praise the lord 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 dear brothers and sisters the miracles always happen in the name of jesus the priests are only instruments the preachers are only the instruments in the hands of jesus and it is jesus who performs the miracles and the second point that gospel teaches us today is our prophetic role many times when we preach 
about the word of god we also face re- rejection we also face argument from the people and the lord is asking are you ready to face this problems are you ready to instill that faith in the people and many times what we do don't ever carry your problems to the lord don't ever carry your difficulties to the lord don't ever carry your sickness to the lord instead invite the lord into your problems invite the lord into your sickness that is what jesus taught us in the garden of gethsemane he cried out he wanted god the father to take away the cup of suffering from him but god the father was silent hanging on the cross he cried out my god my god why have you forsaken me god the father was still silent but when he said into your hands lord i commend my spirit there comes the declaration from from centurion saying this is truly son of god in other words don't tell god that you have problem don't tell god that you have sickness if you have faith in god say sickness that you have god say your difficult say to your difficulties that you have jesus within you definitely you will experience miracles in your life when i say we have to play a prophetic role archbishop socrates says that he is impressed inspired by st charles borromeo archbishop of milan he became cardinal at the age of 24 not that he was cardinal the bishop was inspired by him because of his life he always held in one hand a bible in other hand the cross close to his heart he always believed he always believed that christian is known as always as follower of the cross cross is meaningless without christ he said cross is meaningless without christ and there is no salvation and without cross he says to be a christian to be a catholic what we need is not christless cross not even crossless christ to be a christian in faith what we need is christ upon cross we should be ready to carry our cross if we have little faith in jesus christ beginning of the mass the end of the mass always priest begins the mass mass with sign of the cross and even the blessing final blessing is given with sign of the cross in other words the priest is saying unless you are willing to unless and until you are willing to take up your cross you have no right to receive the blessings in other words he says in every blessing there is cross in every cross there is blessing let us ask the lord in this holy mass to give us the grace to strengthen our faith and to carry our cross and follow jesus christ in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen, amen. Take this bread and take this wine and take a heart
way, brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and good of all his holy church. As we celebrate your mysteries, O Lord, with the observance of that is your due, we humbly ask you that what we offer to the honor of your majesty may profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and every way to give you thanks. Holy Father, most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people. He stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your, your death, O Lord, Lord, and, and process, process your, your rejection. rejection. Until, until you, you come, come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Paul Anthony, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all you have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, with the blessed apostles and all the saints, we have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be cohesed to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through 
through him and with him and in him o god almighty father in the unity of the holy spirit all glory and honor is yours forever and ever As we look for the coming of God's kingdom let us pray in the words Jesus taught us Our Father, Father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us today our daily bread forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from all evil Deliver us Lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our savior Jesus Christ for the, the kingdom, kingdom the, the power, power and the glory are yours now and forever Lord Jesus Christ who said to your apostles peace i leave you My peace I give you look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever amen the peace of the lord be with you always and, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit let us offer each other the sign of peace Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. This is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we are called to this banquet. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say a word, and my soul shall be healed. prayer of spiritual communion my jesus i believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament i love you above all things and i desire to receive you into my soul since i cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally come into my heart spiritually i embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself to you wholly Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen. Today as we are celebrating the priestly ordination of our archbishop cardinal pola antony and also the priestly ordination of udumula bala bishop of warangal and also my ordination anniversary today let us ask the lord to bless them 
and bless all of us and grant us good health of mind and body so that we may receive everything that God provide in our min in our ministry and become objects of his love let us ask mother mary to intercede for them by saying hail mary full of Lord grace, grace the, the lord, lord is, is with, with you, you. blessed are thou among women, women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen let us pray grant we pray almighty god that we may experience the effects of the salvation which is blessed to us by these mysteries through Christ our Lord amen the lord be with you and with, with your spirit. spirit may almighty god bless us the father the son and the holy spirit amen the mass is ended let us go and live in the peace of christ thanks, thanks be to, be to god, god.